Hello. So today I thought I'd sort of show off um, what I've been working on in Unity for the past few weeks. Well, a few days really. This is just a small prototype of a sailing uh, movement system. Um, so I was thinking about making a sort of sailing game and I thought it'd be interesting. Um, and I wanted the movement system to be more than just, you know, moving forward. Uh, so I thought an interesting way to do that would be to implement a model for the way wind and sailing would work in real life. Um, so what I have currently is sort of the first iteration of that. I looked up, read a lot about uh, how the physics behind how all this works and how re in real life, how you'd sail and all this stuff. Um, and I, yeah, wrote in Unity. So the way I have it currently implemented is you have different speed levels. The first speed level is just rowing, which as you can see, it's just slowly moving forward. If I go up a speed level, I'm sort of releasing my sail and allowing the wind to take me. And you can see uh, all these different lines are drawn to show the different forces acting on my ship. So there are different um, speed levels within the sailing level. Of course, the more I let out my sail, the faster I go. This, this, this is all pretty standard. This red line uh, is the direction the wind is blowing. So for testing, I hard coded it so it's always north. You can see this red uh, or this magenta and blue line. The blue line shows the direction the sail is and the, the magenta line represents the force exerted by the sail. So you can see as, as I sort of tilt my sail away from the wind, this magenta line gets shorter and shorter. And this is of course, as the sail points away from the wind, I'm capturing less of it. This green line shows the velocity as I point the sail away, the velocity gets less and less, and it's also moved, the direction is also moved. Of course, if the sail is pointed north, the velocity is shifted towards that heading. Now, why isn't the velocity only following the sail force? Because, of course, I have a force being applied from the sail, represented by a magenta line. Why isn't this velocity perfectly matched against this? Well, that is because there's another force being acted on the ship, and this is this blue line you might be able to see. This force is the keel of the boat. And you know, for people who don't know sailing, sailing boats have a uh, sort of, I, I guess, a wing under on the bottom of the boat going down the entire boat. Uh, this basically introduces a source of drag. And this is what this blue line shows. Th this blue line is the drag caused by this keel. Although there is a force being propelled in uh, this direction, in the north direction, there's also the wing provides drag sideways against this, which effectively cancels out some of the horizontal component of the sail, which of course produces a velocity whose vector is sort of a in-between of both of these. Now, the reason why keels are used in real life is to allow you to sail not into the wind. I can demonstrate this by disabling the keel or setting the drag of the keel to zero. Uh, you can see if I pointed my sail towards the wind in order to capture more of the wind, um, I'd be traveling in this vector, which is not where the boat is pointed to. You can see this looks really weird. Of course, in real life, the boat would also have drag and it wouldn't look like this, but uh, for, for the sake of this model, um, the keel is the only source of drag. Now, when I reintroduce drag to the keel, you can see all of a sudden the boat is not heading straight uh, still. Of course, in real life, this is also the case. If you're going against the wind you're, or, or not in the direction of the wind, you're not gonna be heading um, straight. But you can see I'm heading more straight. And that's sort of the goal of this, right? That's that's, that's the point of the keel. Of course, what this allows me to do is travel against the wind. So you can see if I head in this direction, I am now traveling not directly south, but somewhat south. And of course, without the keel, this would just simply be impossible. If you don't have a keel, it is no matter what you do, you can never travel south, right? The moment you travel any direction south, the wind would blow against the sail and um, and yeah, you'd start heading away. Uh, you'd start heading north of some way. But with the keel introducing a great source of drag, it cancels out some of the northern components. If I'm, head, if I'm pointed somewhat south, it cancels out some of the northern components the, or the north pointing components, the up pointing components, which leaves me with a slight down or a southern uh, velocity. And that's sort of the goal, right? So in real life, the, the way you travel south, this is all assuming the wind is north. The way you travel south would be you travel southwest and then you southeast and you go southwest and you go southeast. And eventually that 
sort of uh, brings you south. So yeah, you can see this is a somewhat functional model of how sailing would work in real life. Now, of course, there's always things I can improve on. This isn't completely realistic, and I, I don't, I'm not a physicist, obviously, so my understanding of all this isn't quite realistic, but um, yeah, this is certainly an interesting um, experiment, I'd say. And I, it's definitely something I'd be looking into expanding on in the future. What I'm thinking about adding next is sort of places to go to. So maybe you saw in the beginning, I had this sort of island thing. Um, I was thinking about adding some sort of procedural generation to sort of populate this area, this water with more island, places you can go to, trade with, you know. I even have a full system right now for different types of components. So you can see I have different sails and all this stuff that, um, so maybe there's area to make this a game where the player can travel around and upgrade their ship, doing some trading. I also have cannons in this game. They're actually working, like they shoot projectiles and have reload times and all this. Um, of course, there's nothing you shoot right now, so none of that is implemented, but uh, this is probably something I can add in the future, so sort of like combat. And yeah, this can be a quite an interesting sort of open world sandbox or sort of exploration game. Uh, yeah. And it all starts with this sort of prototype of of sailing, which I think is quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna work on improving this model next and working uh, working to add more features and make this less of a prototype and more into a game. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, I'll probably just keep making this log, if nothing else, if for nothing else, just to sort of keep a progress log that I can look back on. I think it's interesting um, to see how my game develops over time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and more of how this progresses, just subscribe and you'll get a notification, of course, whenever I upload another one of these. But yeah, that, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed a look into this sort of model for selling. I'll see you next time.